Hello, everyone, and welcome to New Pantheon Academia here on Saving Throw Show, the anime-inspired RPG powered by Overarms by Rookie Jet Studio Games, available now on DriveThruRPG.com. I am but a simple raccoon running through the NFT mines with a magnet on my tail. Uh, Stephen Pope. Uh, yes, yes, I thought that would get a reaction from CB. Heavily anti-NFT. No. My so grandmother I. died in the mines, in the NFT mines. <laughs> That's why I'm running through the mines with a magnet on my tail, destroying them. <laughs> Uh, we got a great show for you. To, we got a great show for you tonight. Really excited about it. Let's not waste a whole lot of time. Let's meet our beautiful table. Starting with, uh, they're not talking about Bruno. They're critical bard. That's correct. Uh, hi, my name is Omega Jones, also known as the critical bard. Why do you have to poop right now, Brumple? Sorry, uh, I was drinking. Critical. You almost killed me. Oh my god. <laughs> Anywho, critical part across all social media channels. I'm active vocalist, tabletop professional, hot mess incarnate, just trying to make some trouble wherever I go. And I am playing. Um, what, the, what the hell am I? I am playing Kuame Akinyemi, <laughs> uh, our suave, adorable, cool individual friend doe thing uh with the uh, divinity of anansi the west african spider trickster god of stories demi love it uh next up they have the power of god anime and the zodiac on their side it's aki oh gosh if that were true my life would be going very differently right now hi everybody i'm aki i play manny uh emancipation morale uh their divinity is ma'at the goddess of truth justice and harmony uh they're just an all-around good being who loves their friends and wants to see everybody succeed um yeah that's moi and last but certainly not least for the evening uh they are not a vampire despite evidence to the contrary it's eric listen the reason I see. I show up in mirrors, so I can't be a vampire, and it's not because we stopped lining mirrors with silver. That's not why. It's it's a different reason. Hi, I'm playing uh, Lennox Thatcher, uh, the 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 rich former football captain, uh, who who now just like I don't know. He's he's going through some stuff. He's not he's not in a good place right now. Yeah, none of you really are. Well. Objectively, that's not true. You're at a pretty nice school, but it's fair. So a few quick announcements before we dive into the game proper. Uh, we are still aiming to raise $150 an episode or 50 new subs on Kofi. Uh, hitting this will hitting this allows you to allows well, it keeps us paid. It keeps the lights on, it keeps us paid, it keeps uh CB's cat rolling the catnip. No. Fuck this cat. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the duality of pet ownership. And it it just really helps the channel in general. And it lets us make more stuff and we like making stuff for you. So it's really appreciated. Um, if you can't afford to back us, it's cool. We still love you. We still appreciate you. Just, hey, spread the word. Share the stream. Go to that one ant's house. They're not very computer savvy anyway. Just get the show running over there. Make make them watch it a little. They'll get into it. Don't worry about it. And hey, a tip of $15 will allow you to send a message. will be read live on air by our glorious uh, school secretary. Uh, so always fun. And hey, if we get 10 of those, we hit our weekly goal. And I'll say this. If we get five toasts this week, I'll let you guys have re-rolls. Hey, we fam. have needed rerolls. Hey, y'all, yeah. just listen. listen. <laughs> Five toasts, they get rerolls. Ten toasts, we hit our goal. I think that's a good deal. Can that be the but, norm? Mm, I'll think about it. If we do good in school, can we get I, can we get pizza for dinner? <laughs> if you read all the books on your uh, summer reading list, we can go to Pizza Hut. I'm reading. I'm reading Jeremy Thatcher, Dragon Hatcher, right now. <laughs> Is that a real book? Yeah, it's a book I read in, in kindergarten. Hi, 
All right, we're in kindergarten because I was just going to say I brought all of my Judy Bloom novels with me. Wow. You took it back. Mm-hmm. I just got holes. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Are you there, God? It's me, Fiona. So uh, we do have some wonderful sponsors, however, and our big, 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 big thanks to Hero Forge for supporting us. If you put exclamation point Hero Forge in the chat right now, I will not hit my microphone. And instead, you could check out their wonderful customization tool that they've created to get your own personalized miniature. We use them in our game to show you what these uh, wonderful characters look like and what our wonderful, oh, that's a little hyperbole because I play them, but we got our ca- all the NPCs are shown with uh, Hero Forge. And you can get a 3D printed mini in color. I had this guy printed out and I'm, I love him. He's great. He's my barbarian. He's, it's fantastic. Barbarians. I, I, I also have my bard that I hand painted because yes, you can just get a plain miniature yeah. printed you, out. You can just, you can just paint them yourself. Yeah. If you're great. one of those kind of people. I need to go find my Hero Forge mini. I don't have one. Yeah. Though. All of my minis are out in the living room. Yeah. And, <laughs> and and recently, you can now get an acrylic standee as opposed to a 3D printed miniature. Gives you beautiful reference art for your character on your board at, at your table. And it's a little cheaper, so why not? And we also have a sponsorship with Die Hard Dice. You can save 10% off your order at Die Hard Dice by using the code SAVINGTHROW22 at checkout. Use command exclamation point DHD in the chat for links and info. Thank you, Die Hard Dice. They make beautiful dice, including the Critical Bard set, uh, which is still sold out, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty much. Yeah, I'll come back eventually. Don't worry about it. Hey, and if you are not watching us live, thanks. We still appreciate it. We love that. Uh, just do If you're listening to us as a podcast, watching us on YouTube, just catching the VOD here on Twitch, thank you. Uh, if you can do us a solid, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, uh, Slap your aunt. I don't know what the algorithm wants. I don't, it's I don't think your aunt deserves that. I think she's a she she's a nice person and Be she's nice doing her best. Aunt. I imagine they are, but I don't know what the algorithm wants. But hey, it, wants okay, do those first things. Don't slap your aunt, but do those first things where you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. It really does help the channel grow. Um, and as mentioned at the top, you can support us on Kofi. Hit, enter exclamation point K O F. I in the chat to check it out on Kofi. You can tip as you would regularly. You can join the exploration society for a monthly amount. I'm a uh, dramatic. I'm a dramatic obsessed hobbit in some adventures we publish through there. It's very funny. Um, you get the same great rewards as Patreon and you can unlock things with toast. So it's appreciated. And like I said, five, five toast, they'll get their rerolls back. So last week on New Pantheon Academia. The three of you uh, dug deeper into the mystery of this new pocket universe you found yourselves in. Uh, you discovered that 10 years ago or so, uh, Kim Winters did not die when she did in your reality. Someone else did, Kyle, who was a friend of hers and also a divinity user what happened between then and now is kind of up in the air, but the world is wildly different. People who were dead are not. People who were alive are gone. And people who have, well, issues don't seem to have them here. After talking to Lenny's brother, Quinn, you decided to go, you decided to reach out to someone very powerful and very important, but not exactly your buddy, Dr. Wang. And she had been expecting you. And before we get into this conversation, I need to know, how are you guys trying to present yourselves to her? I mean, Manny's just Manny. They're not doing anything different. Mm. Um... Lenny's like, um, you know, took a moment so it doesn't look like he's been crying. Poor Lenny. Mm. I think right now, Kwame is 
we left last episode. I know I was going to go see Mrs. Wang. I can't remember what happened right before that. Was that was the fangirls? Yeah, and no. Uh, I think he's skeptical. I think he's in uncomfortable judgmental mode. Um, but he's also hoping that this is actually someone that's going to help us versus someone just trying to use our teenage minds against us. So right now he's skeptical as fuck. An absolutely safe state to be right now. Um, I would like an intelligence roll from all of you. Uh, we're yeah. looking for a four. Oh boy. Okay. Seven. This- this is I got. I have really good intelligence, but I got a five, <laughs> so I still got it. Here we go. Oh, I got a five. I did it. You all know this woman knows what she's talking about and does not view you as children. She sits down at her desk as she instructs you to close the door behind you. Did. And lock it. I web slinged it. You asked me if I'm the Dr. Wang you know. I should be a 13, not 16. Good. I can't answer that as much as I'd like to. I believe I am. But I've been here longer than you have. So honestly, I don't know. How how have you been here longer than we have? She reaches into her desk and pulls out a manila envelope. She puts it, she opens it and faces it towards the three of you. We'll say Dolly is there as well, because why yes, not? She was. she was there earlier. Mm. Um, towards the four of you. They're photos of you. You look perfectly happy, perfectly normal, nothing out of the ordinary. I took these photos three weeks ago. Where? On school grounds. I mean, in our universe or in this one? In this one. We were here? Well, we knew that we were here. We just had different lives. We knew that Dahlia and Spiro were together, and then she broke up with him, and then Nanako got with him. We knew that. Yeah, the devil. No, I, I mean, I guess I just... it took him a couple of months to set everything up, or whatever. No, I, I guess I just completely. I guess I was still kind of holding on to this idea that this world didn't exist until we got here. No. I don't know when this universe was birthed. I do know I was not aware that it was different until December or so. What happened in December? Go ahead and roll charisma. Just me? Just you. And I'm looking for a six. No. No, I got it too. Gross. I had a moment with Dr. Ash. And then I turned a corner. Something inside me woke up and I realized this world wasn't mine. I don't know if that means it was never mine or if I'm not supposed to be here. Maybe it's like, I don't know, like, because Kim members like stuff that happen, but like none of us do. So maybe it's not that like you were here, like, I mean, you were definitely here earlier, but maybe like you weren't here to like December. And then like all of us just got here today. It's possible. I did seek the four of you out as soon as I woke up, for lack of a better term. And by doing so, I found out very quickly you were not the students I knew. You were still you. It's just some of you were better off 
In fact, all of you were. You still had your divinity, and your divinity seemed fine. What make like, I, I know that at least maybe for Lenny and Kwame, this is a completely different question and feeling, but why is, why do you suppose that, why do you assume that this version of our lives is better than the one we were living before? That's a broad statement and a broad generalization. And I apologize for that, if that is not the case. But you seem to have a good social life. You seem to have a modicum of responsibility that you were excelling in. And you seem to be incredibly unburdened by the world. I mean, I was happy with the life I had before this. It was just fine. As was I. Are you the... Do you remember anything from before that we went through? I do. Can you name one? The doors to oblivion. And I taught you how to create relics. Okay, we can, can't just... I met, I met the four of you at a water park for someone's birthday, if I recall. It was Spiros. <clears throat> One, Dahlia, she looks over to her. I believe you were inebriated thanks to someone. She gives side eye to Lenny, but doesn't say anything. I don't remember that. It must have been a different universe. Man, Lenny. And I had my daughter there. That's when I met the four of you formally. That's the other question. Is the devil the father of your daughter and uh, why are you so speaking like that? Is the devil the, the, shut up, the father of your daughter over there as well? Hmm. That's a yes. 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 When were you going to tell us that you were like the devil's boo or whatever? I am not his Boo, but you were at some point is what we are getting at. I wasn't. Oh. No. Our relationship was based on a lie. I did not know who he was or what he was. I wasn't even aware that he had supernatural abilities when we began. And I don't feel like it's necessary for me to tell students this, but you are no longer just students. <sighs> okay. Um, does your is your daughter um, like us or no? Rachel does not have a divinity. Rachel. Rachel does have powers, though. From her father. Yes. She's a literal spawn of Satan. <laughs> do you say, do you actually say that? Like, very, very, like, below the breath, not trying to be heard by, by, uh, what uh mrs wang but yes manny does say that uh -oh. roll me intelligence <laughs> three you take three damage from this withering glare <laughs> okay yeah i'm sorry that was really rude i apologize it was thank okay. you okay um Let's not fight each other. Um, then a question I now have, because I keep trying to figure out how the devil could do what he could do when he is not like Anansi, your div who is your divinity again? Let me check my notes. <laughs> yeah, because we've, we've been trying to figure this out for a while. 
<laughs> I thought I thought that was like a subtle way of quantum. It was. Asking, it was. We've never found out. <laughs> it was. What was the name of the big bad guy you planned all this stuff what with? Who is your god? Who's your place friend? we were gonna meet and uh, you know your your buddy, your friend, your uh... good old pal. <laughs> but no, seriously, Pita. her daughter is an actual. Peter Malark. Hmm. Uh, actually, the same pantheon as Manny. P T A H. Oh, Pata. Oh, another another Egyptian divinity. Oh yeah, he's the best. Am I saying that right, Pita? Pata. Pata. Pita. Okay. Yeah. You said Peter. I'm like Peter Malark. Hunger Games. Mm. <laughs> now I want bread. We <laughs> listen. I'm burning uh, one of Cantrip Candles candles and. It's the oh, gold the bakery, bakery one. one. And oh, all I want I right now one. is to tear into some French bread and slather <laughs> it with butter and just be like, ah, nah, nah. Um, that candle and ratatouille. Like, if that doesn't make you crave carbs, I'm sorry. I don't know what will. I've already had buttered nudes too. So I don't know how many more carbs I can eat today. <laughs> but yes. I. Uh... Ari Scratch or Ari Black or whatever he is going by this week. He changes his name quite often. He is not a storyteller divinity, nor is he a creator divinity. He can grant wishes. Ta. Not perfectly, but that is what Mr. Black is capable of doing. Oh, so it's like a like a whole monkey's paw thing, but like I don't I don't remember like wishing stuff. Like I thought it was like you had to like like formally like ask or whatever. And like I'm like like racking my brain and I don't remember like saying nothing to nobody. It didn't matter. I never made my wish either. Pretty sure the devil doesn't care very much about consent. I mean, that, doesn't that seem? I like, know. That's like heck of messed up, though. Like you know, like when he is. The what's devil. the point? Like my power is that I could do things if you want them, but uh, I'll do them only if you don't. Like that seems like a bad power. He's a bad man. I've been experimenting while you have been asleep, for lack of a better term, trying to figure out the rules of this place. As soon as I woke up, I wasn't able to leave this town. So that's one rule. Once you're aware, you can't leave. Wonderful gilded cage. Two. <laughs> This place is psychoreactive. Not unreasonably so. But part of my wish, apparently, was having my family nearby. So my mother and father moved here, uh, somehow moved here from uh, Hong Kong. Don't know when. But they live here now trying to keep me here as long as possible or trying to keep me asleep as long as possible, perhaps. Three. The people here are real. I don't want any of you to have the impression that this is somehow not happening. That the people here are figments or dreamlike or similar to the dream guardians. These people are alive. They have souls and hearts and beliefs. They are fully realized. You're talking about Kwame and Lenny, aren't you? I am. I mean, I already kind of like came to that understanding. Like, these are these people are like straight up real. And that's what like like if I could like 
Otherwise, I would just be like, well, heck it, let's just like blow this place up and call it a day. But like, I don't know, like, maybe these people should just be left here. But like, I don't know if this place, if we leave, if this place exists anymore. That's what I've been trying to figure out. Is and this is probably going to sound a little bit weird, maybe. Have we thought about what could... Have we thought about whether or not it could be possible to slice the two universes together in a way? Altering reality to <laughs> such a great effect has ramifications that go far beyond human existence. Some of us know that harder than others. Kwame pointed me not looking. And she's pointedly not looking at you either. All I mean, right. Well, I just, it was just a thought. I know. I... It's a nice thought. And honestly, if I couldn't find a way to do that, then I believe we would have a winning situation. Well, you're, you're telling me there's not like some door somewhere we can't like find. And like, because like, We've had so many doors that like open up to like dreams, open up to oblivion. You're telling me we can't like, I don't know, find a hallway and like open a door that goes between and then like be like, yo, come this way. I, I, all this stuff is bananas. So like, what we should try some real dumb stuff. Well, the door to oblivion no longer exists, it was made to house him. And he's out. He's out, and his guard dogs are now gone. The King in White, the Raven Queen, the uh, Seven Scarecrows. I also want you to know what you did was the correct thing. This is not your fault. I do know whose fault it is, and I'm going to have words with them, but it's not your fault. <clears throat> Wait. And that's the nicest thing I'm going to be saying for the rest of this day. You, you've been here like a while? Yes. Have you dealt with echoes? I have. So Can you tell us about them? Yeah, like what's their deal? Without the Raven Queen's existence and with the destruction of the old gymnasium where the urban legends seem to have spawned, the general consensus seems to have become there is something that happens to students at North Point if they get too emotional or too overwhelmed. The negative emotions can take tangible form. Oh. From what I can tell, this seems to be the case. That also seems to be why the school has uh, such a good mental health program. Lenny just starts screaming, fuck. Fuck! Um, <clears throat> Mrs. No. Thatcher, please sit down. Um, I just thought maybe I could make it. Okay. I mean, you're feel you just seem like you're just intense in general right now, Lenny. So it might be enough just that. I don't know. I thought if we could see one of these things, we could like do some shit. Oh. Well, generally, uh, your club i notice it's not called the school safety squad here and honestly better branding um does seem to be involved with uh the hunting and the elimination of these creatures they tend to appear at night they tend to appear near the dorms and they tend to be uh dangerous enough not for people like us but enough to be worthy of this dedication from what i can tell uh whatever killed kyle 10 years ago was related to these things and as such but well 10 years ago in our reality kim winters died the grief caused dr ash to shut down any activity involving divinities on school property and single-handedly took care of the program as much as he could. I helped on occasion, obviously, but that's beside the point. 
in this reality with Kim not dying, but another student dying, Kim restarted the program. Who died? We were trying to figure that out. Kyle? Kyle, Kyle Gonzalez. And he had the divinity? Yes. And is Who? he like running around at school? A teen again? Yes, he is. I don't know how and I don't know why. You know the which divinity is his, right? Skaven. Not a mythological being. In fact, I did some Googling and found out he comes from a tabletop game of sorts. Some sort of board game. Warhammer Fantasy. Thank you, Lennox. But apparently that qualifies for divinity. Okay. Um, <clears throat> back to the topic at hand. Um, we have to find a way to preserve what this is, but also return to what we know uh, and deal with the devil. But we don't know how to do that. Each time we do and we potentially succeed, he starts over, which takes away some of the power that he doesn't have, which causes things to become more complicated. Um, yeah, if this place yes. collapses, um, does everyone die, including us? Or is does nobody die? Or does just us die? Or just them die? Or like... What are the consequences of our actions or his? I believe if he is allowed to go the way he's been going, we will all be destroyed molecule, molecule by molecule. Oh, fun. That's, that's very visceral imagery. Oh. And do you know how he attained his power or the ability to do so? Because, again, he shouldn't be able to do it. By thy own will be true. Willing something into existence sounds cute, but you have to have the ability to do so to make it true. And that is his ability. He wills this power, and as such, he gains this power. He's also a lying sack of shit. That's the devil. So his power is in the lie. He can make a lie become truth. Got it. So we have to convince him we're on his side and then like be like, man, this this is so great. You should you should keep this forever. And then he's gonna be like, ah oh, shoot, this sucks. And he's gonna like turn it back. Well, Annex, this is not opposite day. Okay, I don't know. He he would be more than happy to just keep it going. Maybe. Then we should give him something that he wouldn't like, and it's not something I want to do, and it's not something you're not, not going to like either. But I'm trying to figure out what would scare the devil. What would be something that he doesn't like? That's vampires. Okay. What if just a, a hand pat on his face, you sweet so summer handsome. child? He's so pretty. He's so mm. pretty quality. Mm. Um, what is his connection to his daughter? He very much wants to be part of her life. And what happens when he doesn't get that? I don't know. What happens if the person who has a part of his power goes against him? You're proposing we have my six-year-old daughter fight the devil. We're all children, too, just happen to be older. I'm not that. arguing. I'm just stating what you are implying. I'm implying we don't have any other ideas, and I don't know what to do with your daughter. I don't want to put her in harm's way. But obviously, she has a gift. She has power. What if... What if one of us were to get close to him? 
then you'd probably find him very charismatic. Oh. Lenny brought up something that I think is worth exploring. What? Garlic? No, not garlic, Lenny. <sighs> I guess I guess reach out and hold his hand. <laughs> Stop rewarding bad behavior with affection. It's precious. It and it's the only thing that's going to get us through right now. Jesus. That's true. <clears throat> Going through the dreaming, the collective unconscious, the mist, whatever you wish to call it. She looks at you, Kwame. I don't believe you've done it, but I know your friends here have. You can go through many different realities through that. That could be a way for us to get out. But, but, hmm. but there's plenty of options. So say we can get out to this dreaming place. Um, he would, I assume, follow, would follow. Yes, as long as my daughter is alive, he would follow. I feel like at least if we went back, we'd be able to fight him on our own terms. He wouldn't be able to manipulate the world that he did not will into existence. Very possible. At least not as effectively, maybe. How do we go into this streaming? How do we attain it? Is it something we can do now? Is it something we need to prepare for? We need to find Morpheus. That is someone I've been waiting for you to mention. We haven't seen him since we got back. <clears throat> Neither have I. Do you think the fact that the Raven Queen didn't exist may have affected his existence as well? Very possible. I haven't but seen I him also know either. I also know he has one of the strongest connections to the dreaming. It's his domain after all. I if mean, he wanted to, he would be here, especially for you four. Maybe he's <clears throat> I mean maybe if we, I don't know, enter the dream a little bit and call out and because I've been like studying a little bit on, on this stuff. Um, Lucid you know. dreaming? Yeah. Oh. You just, you get like an eye mask and it blinks uh, and, and that's how you know you're, you're, you're asleep because you can see it through your closed eyes. Interesting. Well, I mean, it's worth trying if, if, if Morpheus isn't here here maybe we can figure out a way to call on him I, I know it would make dahlia really happy if we could get him back i wonder if the dreaming is a potential key to getting out perhaps the devil intentionally did not write Morpheus into this place to make sure. I mean, that's very strong possibility. Oh, yeah. Any connections that we had before, as far as gods outside of our own, you know, divinities, I mean, I, we haven't seen Loki around either. And he would have probably been the first person to pop up and say, yo, what up? They're like Q from Star Trek. <clears throat> Just and out of comparison, annoyed grumbles by Kwame. Does Kwame get the reference? No, not that Loki. <laughs> <laughs> Secondhand show boy. Mm. I love him. Yeah, all we have to do Jeez, is like great. drink, drink the special tea, and like fucking peace out and go. Hang out in the dream. It's like, uh, I mean, Manny's been there. Uh, it's weird. So like, but like yeah. everything is. So yeah. I, Wait, I, I think I have been there once. Squirrels. There were a lot of hallways and mm -hmm. like, 
and like staircases, but they were like freaky because they they went up and sideways and upside down. I'm almost positive out of character that we had an episode where Kwame, where we all went. Yeah, in. now that you're Jack was there, Jack was I think there so. For yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's like the inside of the Millennium Puzzle. Mm. I mean, that part is. I mean, we've been in the dreaming before that too. We've been the, in the dreaming a few times. Yeah, it's all like it's it's an endless void of impossibility. Incredible impossibility. Anyways, Not yeah. An accurate. Well, okay, so we have a plan. Is there anything else that we want to do here before we, we attempt that? Or anything mm. we feel like we need to do? Um, I there have... is something I need to do. I just don't know how to do it. <clears throat> what is What is that? Talk. Uh, actually, um, um, yeah, go see, um, her. Can I make a suggestion? Just want to pause it, pause it an idea. Sure. How about we give ourselves 24 hours here while we get ready to do this whole dreaming thing? And for that 24 hours, we live. Hmm. Um. Okay. Um. Good try. You spend a day with your mom. You spend a day with your brother. I spend the day being the president of the pep squad. We just have a day while we get ready. Give yourself, you know, one more day. It's just an idea. Kwame leaves the room. I'm not sure if that's like a yes or a no. Um, I, I think it's a good idea. Um, I guess we'll find out t tomorrow. Yes, <laughs> Lennox. So. Dr. Wang finally speaks up after that. Lennox, I'm not really the most emotionally uh, available person. Shocking, I'm aware. I would go after Kwame. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> My next goes. Mr. Brown? Yeah. It was a very kind of thing you proposed. Yeah. I don't know what it is that they're going through and I can't begin to understand how either of them feels. Um, but I love them both very much and I want them to be happy. Maybe I just should have kept my mouth shut. Perhaps. But I think you were trying to be kind. And there is value in that. Give yeah. me a charisma roll real quick. Charisma or intelligence, whichever you'd like. Uh, we're looking for a four. That is a two. Oof. You cannot read this woman. Nope. <clears throat> I think Manny's a little bit distracted. I think that's fair. Uh, Manny will grab Dolly's hand and give uh, Mrs. Wang a nod and then head out after Kwame and Lenny. Not in a hurry, uh, just in case they didn't get too far. Um, 
maybe they'll go over to the vending machine or something and kind of just chill until Kwame and Lenny are ready to go. It has been restocked. It was restocked last episode. I'm going to get myself, uh, Manny's going to get some, some, uh, peanut butter combos. Oh, those are good. They are good. I love yeah. peanut butter combos. God, I, now I probably want the pizza ones. <sighs> it just makes me miss the studio because there were combos in the studio. <laughs> they were wonderful. <laughs> we miss the studio for a variety of reasons. The snacks are definitely one of them. Mm -hmm. All right, Kwame, where did you go? Uh, he left the room, went to the right, um, went down the hallway, and then just kind of went to a, um, a, um, just an, honestly, just a, an emptier space. Uh, he didn't go far. Uh, he just needed to just, uh, well, he's kind of pacing the adjacent hallway at this moment, um, going back and forth, just constantly going back and forth, um, he knows there's always no one's really here right now. Um, and he just needs a moment to uh, process Makes heavily. <laughs> yeah. Um, you find an empty classroom that's perfect for pacing and being left the fuck alone right now. Um, Which is safe to say you need. Yeah. He goes in and um, he kind of just like stares at the window looking out into like the open North Point area um, and then he grabs a desk and tosses it out the window. Give me a strength roll. That's a 12. Hachi that's a, that's a crit technically by itself plus 6. That's a 12. The glass shatters, um, and you hear the desk just crumple into a pile as it hits the concrete and grass below. Uh, you hear some shrieks and yipes before people realize what's going on. crumples to the ground and just starts to cry. Eric, I'm not going to tell you when Lenny gets there. <laughs> this uh, is all you, man. Lenny, yeah, Lenny uh, probably followed and is just like sort of waiting outside the classroom. <laughs> Even though you hear the crying? Uh, I guess I guess the, the crying would, would be a... a a good sign to head back in, head in there. I don't know what the answer is. Um, well, I've, I've always found that like, um, there are no answers in the universe. Um, they're just choices, you know, um, the only thing we have control over is our choices and that we can't like i don't know nobody will tell you what to do um only you can i wish i wish that were true the unfortunate thing is i know there are choices I know that we have to do what we have to do. But I also know that I can create the test in which this choice is even asked. I can create the blueprint for which the foundation of our choice rests. I have that literally in the palm of my hand. And I still don't know what to do. I don't know how to see her because if I see her and I live this life, then I don't think I'll be able to leave. Uh, 
because it is directly my fault that she is gone in the first place. I mean, like, ditto. <laughs> I mean, not, like, uh, it's, this is, I mean, it's fucked up, you know? It's, all this stuff is, is like, real dumb. Real, just, like, the dumbest stuff. And, like, even for us, it's like, more dumb than it's like normally and it's not fair um and i i don't have an answer because like i can't tell you how you're supposed to feel i'll tell you i'm not gonna see my brother again because i can't i can't do that because it it took like all of me to like let go of that hug and walk out that room and i i don't i don't have the strength for that um but you're but you've always been like pretty strong like if you you moved the door of oblivion i mean you can do what you can do anything you 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 can all you've always been able to do anything and even when you don't know what to do you just do the right thing do the thing that you know is right and that's and that's all you can i'm just afraid that the right choice will hurt more and I've already lost her once, and I'm just scared to go through that pain again. I guess it just comes down to, like, when, not like if, but like when we get back to whatever normal is for us, like, are you going to be, like, kicking yourself Cause you didn't go talk to her or are you going to be like, no, nah, that was a good call. Cause like maybe, maybe there's some things you got to say to not this person, but to like someone who's not here anymore. And maybe you gotta, maybe just saying those things is, is enough to somebody. For someone who can come off as very dense, you're very smart, Linux. I just learned a long time that running away from pain doesn't make it not hurt. I fucking hate you for being right. Um, he will stand up and look at the hole in the window and the broken chair on the ground. Uh, Anansi, can you... Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this this is on me. Don't, don't worry about it. Uh, thank you. Uh, he doesn't even put a costume on. Kwame will go over. I will stand up and go over and just wrap his arms around Lenny. Tell me to stop if you want me to stop. I just no, it's all right. <sighs> Lenny will pull back and then place a kiss on his forehead. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Uh, yeah, let's um, let's figure out how to do this. All right. Well, if you need help, I'm here. If not, I'm gonna like 
my favorite Thai food place like changed its menu a couple of years ago and it's not as good. So I want to see if like that's different. If it's like stiff. Let's let's get some Thai. Yes, that sounds good to me. <laughs> All right. Um that was a damn good scene. Everyone cool? We need a breather. God damn, that was fuck my heart. My Kokoro's Brokoro. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm trying to make a joke here because the emotions are very high and very real. Um, Jesus. Okay, so as the two of you leave the now repaired uh, classroom, Aki, where does Manny go? Uh, Manny goes with Dahlia back over towards where the vending machines were. Um, and they are kind of just sort of looking out into the quad kind of quietly. I'm guessing at this point it's like later afternoon. Maybe class is starting to wrap up. Yeah, like, that's about right. Um, they're just kind of watching people head back towards their dorms. Um, so yeah, they're just kind of hanging out, waiting for, for Lenny and Kwame to come back. Um, looking out the window, uh, you see the sky is really weird, especially later on in the day. Um, it's February, so the sky is, you know, kind of... it. The sun sets earlier than usual, so... You know. It's kind of like someone held up a piece of paper with something printed on the other side of it to a window. You see both the endless blue sky and the clouds, and you also see these swirling vortexes and galaxies that lie beyond the boundary. It is, as many professionals would say, a fucking trip. It's kind of mind-bending. Well... Oh. Kind of stuff that make people write about going mad. Huh. And Manny, I need you to roll dexterity. Oh, geez. Oh, goodness. Oh, boy. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Five. Perfect. I was looking for a four. Um, you hear a piece of paper, a crumpled up piece of paper, fall next to you. Just tumble to the ground. Uh, and when you look up, you see a break in reality. <gasps> a small black hole seems to have been opened, and then it kind of <sniffs> goes away, complete with that noise. Does it? Does it also go bing? <laughs> it does. It goes bing. Oh. Uh, Manny will look up and down in the hall. Do they see anybody else? It is just you and Dahlia. All right. Uh, they will lean down and pick up the piece of paper. Did the, did the swirling ball of vortex thingy look familiar to them at all? Did it look like something they'd seen before? Uh, roll me intelligence plus two, and I'm looking for a five. Uh, that's going to be an eight. Perfect. Um, yeah. Because I crit. Yeah. Um, well... It was kind of orange and green. Man, he picks up the piece of paper and opens it up. Please, 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 please. Inside the crumpled up piece of paper is a note addressed to you. The handwriting is atrocious. Of Truly terrible. Just chicken scratch. Hello, Mr. Brown. This is Loki. I am currently in a cage, not of my own design, nor of my own volition. I am draining through every ounce of energy I have, and if I have to hear a show tune again, I am going to rip reality asunder. I will never talk about I will willingly talk about Bruno for the rest of my life out of spite if I survive this. But yes, I am 
very much alive and very annoyed. Please help me. And I owe you a date regardless. Loki. Oh, I knew it. It's knew about it. this time uh, Kwame and Lenny turn the corner and you, the two of you see a very uh, dancy Manny. <laughs> Loki needs our help. And I think if I'm taking this clue to me, what I think it means, Morpheus might be with him. They, they don't like say like where, and that would have been like super helpful. Yes, you are correct about that. But maybe we'll be able to figure out where they are based on the letter. Like I could, maybe Maat can show us where they are because we have a letter now. All right. Um, and uh, Manny will hold up the piece of paper and call out to their divinity. Um, Ma'at, if you can tell us where Loki is and where whoever it is that's playing the show tunes is based on this letter, that would be very helpful. Okay, um, now revealing the truth, that is your second or first? It's my first. Been... Okay, so spend one AP and roll me intelligence range. All right, give me just a second. Do, 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 do. This one's a little difficult, so I'm looking for a 10. You Oof. said intelligence range? Yes. Oh, boy. This is Remember, y'all, be... we're toast. We could potentially get some rerolls. And we're getting yeah. to some meaty story points, but we're going to need these good rolls. All right, are you ready? Here we go. No. Oh, oh that's a four. Oh. Um, Not great, fam. The wings appear, and you feel Ma'at struggling to pinpoint it. Uh, much like a phone that's lost reception, trying to give you directions on Apple Maps as opposed to Google Maps because you haven't downloaded it yet and you keep reminding yourself to, but then, you know, you forget. Um, she is just buffering into the cosmos. Damn it. Well, that didn't work. Sorry. Mm. Not still having some trouble here. Are there any clues on the note that hint anything like capital letters? Anything that seems like like a um something within something? Like a code. Yeah. Um why don't you go ahead and roll me intelligence? In fact, anyone looking at the letter may do this. No. Uh oh. we're looking for a seven. eight. Hey, yeah. Lenny! There Lenny. we go. Lenny, this tracks. Lenny cracks the this code. Tracks. No, this yeah. tracks, actually. No, Lenny is super <laughs> smart. Oh, boy. Um, it's one of my highest. Yeah, Kwame is <laughs> still trying to come back from. He is definitely um, just like leaning on, on, on Lenny a little he bit. Has, <laughs> he has an incredibly high emotional intelligence. Emotional damage. Okay. Um... <laughs> You noticed, Lenny, that this letter... I, I'm sorry. I'm still not over it. It's Lenny who cracks this code. Well, I was going to try something. Let me uh, like give Go you ahead, this gift. And you can so I have the power of telepathy, yes. uh, where I can link minds with people and read their thoughts and send messages back and forth. Uh, Loki gave me that power. This is a, this is a, a letter in his handwriting. Gift. Yes. So I was going to use that connection to try and suss some things out. Well, I'll go ahead and tell you both. I'm going to allow you to do that because you succeeded on the roll. And honestly, I think that's a great way to do this. And I'm also going to tell you what Loki did. Loki wrote on this letter beforehand. And you can faintly make out the words on top of the words. If you hold it up to the light, you'd be able to see another message. One that's a little less whiny and a little more productive. But oh. you, on the other hand, just remember, oh, right, I'm psychic. Yeah. I'm like, oh, if I, I, I figured it out. And then huh? just, mm, and just like, <laughs> don't and let me, and let I just like a you, blood vessel. Yeah, you just see blood start coming to, out of his nose. <laughs> what? Is this Stranger Things all of a sudden? God damn. Yeah. I mean, okay. it happens in animes too. <laughs> it, I know, Stranger Things stole it. Um, 
Sorry, now I just really want to watch experimental uh, series Lane again, but that's beside the point. Uh, Lenny, you reach through the cosmos. And it sounds like you get feedback for a moment, like a microphone that hasn't been set up properly. It goes, uh, it... No, it's not you. Oh, hey, how's it going? Uh... Uh, hmm. where this are is we? Rising, uh, Lenny, you are standing in a glass box of emotion. Um, on each side, there seems to be like it looks like a movie playing, but when you look closer, it's more of a daydream. Uh, it's actually Dahlia and a rabbit, uh, reenacting many famous musical numbers. You see them, uh wearing yellow slickers and dancing in the rain singing oh, if you day. would uh there's one where one where uh she is standing on a balcony in a white dress to her rabbit subjects talking about don't cry for her uh there's oh that's what that was about there's one where uh you have morpheus waving a french flag while uh Dahlia kind of just dies. She's fine, but she's dead, I guess. She also shaved her head. Don't worry about she it. Had, she had a dream in time gone by. Yeah. And Loki looks tired, but he also looks human. Very human. He looks like how you last saw him, where he had taken on a human form and had finally joined you guys in a proper timeline, as opposed to hopping around as he wanted to do. Uh, okay, good to see you, Lennox. Is, is that that's correct, right? Uh huh. Cool. Good. Good. Um, how are you? I mean, I, I know I how do... you're here. I'm just. How are you? I've been doing like here? a. I've been like really. Like getting into like dreamscapes and other realms and stuff like that. Uh -huh. Um, I think I'm astral projecting. Yes, that 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 is the case. Sick. Um, you are astral Sick. projecting. Um, that is. I've been like reading huh. a lot and also taking a lot of hallucinogens. You know, you can read. Uh, huh. yeah. I got well. Uh. You know, I know English and um, my phone can translate a lot of stuff just by like if I face the camera at it, it like just does it. And then Nikasi speaks all languages. So like, you know, it's pretty easy. Uh-huh. Well, uh, was not expecting to see you. Got to be honest. Just be real. Uh, I'm in the dreamscape. Oh. With Morpheus, he is of no help because he's basically dreaming, and uh, the other Morpheus is in a pretty pissy mood. Other wait, yes, um, we attempt we saw what was going on and attempted to break through realities, and eventually we hit a part where there was another Morpheus who does not like being called a rabbit, nor does he enjoy the idea of someone losing uh, the M of their name for a moment. I brought it up. No, no response. Great. Yeah. Thank you. You're very useful. <laughs> Loki is so, so pressed. So wait, are we, so did we like straight up disappear? And then like, you're like, what happened? Or they're like, we are robo versions of ourselves. Back it's... home. Or does home exist? Do I exist? Don't do Let that. Lennox, Lennox, ah. Lennox, focus, focus. Okay. okay. Existentialism can wait for your college years, okay? Okay. And I know you're going to have a lot of time because you're not gonna have to try in college. It's fine. Oh, I won't? Sick. No. You're white, athletically built, and come from money. You don't have to try. It's basically kindergarten for you. But don't oh. worry about it. Now. I need you to tell them we're in the dreaming, we're in the dreamscape, we're in whatever we're calling it this week, and I need them to come prove that, one, 
he holds up Morpheus, who is in the traditional meditation pose. He is reached full zen. This is a Morpheus. Maybe not the... He just drops him. Just plop. Rabbit goes plop. <laughs> um, does not stop. Maybe not there, Morpheus, but is a Morpheus, and I am Loki. Okay, I need you to do this. Can you do this? Please. Tell them you're here. Tell them I'm here. Have you and your little friends come here. Have Manny talk to them, because Manny's good at talking to people. And then get me out of here, because he's been on an Encanto binge, and I'm not a fan of Lin-Manuel Miranda. Oh, I haven't seen that one yet. I hear good things, but like I've missed like the last couple because I don't, I don't, I don't do the streaming thing. The man can write four songs, and he just writes them very well over and over again. Mind you, a uh, quick note from uh, the creator of the show: this is not Stephen Pope's opinion. Stephen likes Miranda fine, and I love Encanto. We gonna get banned by Lynn Ling. Gonna come here and be like, oh. <laughs> What did you say? Loki's not a nice man. Loki's not a nice man. Loki? Steven. I, well, <laughs> I mean, honestly, almost every song is just the same four power chords over and over again. I mean, if you really think Stop about it. showing Music your is... inner depth and get me out of here. <laughs> Fine. Jeez. Uh, and I wake up. Uh, yeah, so Kwame and Manny, here's what you saw. Lenny took the note, had his brilliant idea, and then fell over like a tree being cut down. I would I mean, have caught Manny would have him. tried. Yeah, we would probably <laughs> both gone to try and okay, make Kwame, sure. give me a dexterity roll. We're looking for a five. Hold on, hold on. What dex? Okay, four, um, you... four. Four. <laughs> this is rude. Manny was helping. I was <laughs> helping. Make the roll. Make the roll. This should be strength, but whatever. It's fine. Oh, thank God! Okay, he cares about he cares about his boy his his boy toy. His you boy have friend. a D six, okay? I gave you a one out of three shots of doing it. You uh, it could have been you string. You crit. You crit. I did. <laughs> so Kwame, you caught him before he fell over. But uh, Lenny, you wake up. It's very uh uh well, Wizard of Oz, and you were there, and you were there, just in the fact that everyone's gathered around you. Are you uh, okay, Lenny? Um, yeah. I think I... No, I know I astral projected. That's I went new. to... I went, yeah. I haven't done it before. I've been trying, but it's, like, real hard. Um, uh, but, yeah, I went into dreams, and um, Loki's in, like, a box and stuck in the dreams uh, with, like, Morpheus, but, like, not ours. Because, like, they tried to come here, but then they got trapped. A Morpheus, not R Morpheus. Got it. Mm -hmm. And you're saying that Loki is trapped in the dreaming. Yeah, in, like, a box that's playing. Uh, it's just Dahlia singing. That sounds cute. I mean, I thought it was all right. <laughs> okay. Then all he right, said let's... some real inflammatory things about uh, noted... Uh, musicians that um, I will not repeat. Oh, uh, yeah, Kwame, don't... you hear a little <laughs> by your ear as uh, <laughs> a, Nazi, a Nazi has a shotgun ready. Why does a Nazi have a gun? <laughs> it's a spider with a gun! <laughs> <laughs> that is like a nightmare fuel. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. I That's just good. need to know it wasn't about Sondheim. It was about oh, Sondheim. Oh, no. Okay. No. Okay. All no. right. Good. Good. <laughs> Please put the gun away. Thank you. <laughs> um, I needed to know. I need, I need Did like you? a sticker, like a spider with a gun on a sticker. I need it. Or like an enamel pin. Uh, and Dom, I think we have merch. That, yeah, that, 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 that also sounds like another emote, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah just like a, a spider with a gun. Yeah, like a, a like a Nazi uh, holding a gun at like facing you, like Elmer Fudd, like if in my head. But it's like say that about Stephen Sondheim again. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like who? 
That's hilarious. Um, uh, so go ahead, go ahead. And re- really quickly, the one that was in the cage with Loki is not our Morpheus. It's other. No, no, no. The one in the cage is your Morpheus. Is, okay, it's a okay. bunny. It's a bunny Morpheus. Got it. Morpheus, if you will. It's Morpheus. Um, Buffius. Yeah. Fluffy. And as you all are told. As you all find out that uh, a Nazi puts the stand and stand, uh, we have two uh, school announcements. And don't forget, people, if we get three, if we get three more, if we reach five by the end of the show, I will bring back rerolls. In fact, I'll give everyone a reroll that will carry over to the next show. Bum 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 bum. bum. Good morning, uh, students of North Point Academy, although I think it's afternoon, technically, by this point in the stream, I can't remember, uh, uh, but we got uh, some announcements to get through, uh, the first one is from uh, the Five Foot Latina, says, uh, North Point Academy students, please be aware that the marching band has been moved from the football field to the football field due to uh, an unfortunate sprinkler incident. Uh, so uh, watch out if you're playing the the, the, the soccer's. Um, uh, DJ Regular says reminder to all sponsors. Uh, to, to, uh, reminder: all local sponsorships are subject to internal reviews, such as North Point Hellions. Our school's Mech Warrior Squadron has been temporarily suspended for their partnership with the North Point Hellfire Club. Uh, has been terminated. So yeah, the Hellions and the it's like a I don't know, those those nerds are fighting about something. So there's a watch out, I guess. I don't know. I just read it. I don't write it. Uh, everyone have a good day. Yeah. We have a Hellfire and a Hellions club at a at a, at a school being principled by the devil. Shocking. And more importantly, uh we have a Mech Warrior club? Fuck yeah, yeah I want to join that. Yeah, this has to be an alternate universe because they're playing Mech Warrior instead of all the other tabletop. Oh, oh! Okay. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying you, you, they would have a Warhammer first, and then those people would break off and do Mech Warrior sometimes. Okay, how about this? We get if we get like three more uh, toast. I'll give my hot take on tabletop war gaming, and I'll bring back rerolls. Uh, so, as you hear the groans of many a nerd across the campus, uh, yeah, the three of you now have a pretty good, clear goal at the very least. Go delve into the dreaming, deal with this world's Morpheus. And save Loki, I guess, if you have to. I love him. We're definitely saving Loki. Yeah. Yeah. I could like, um, I know uh, a lot of like, I, you know, if we need like punch to help us uh, make it make our way to the dreamscape, like I could totally provide that. Um, can we get the tie first? Oh yeah, you don't you don't want to do it on an empty stomach. Yeah, uh, yeah, you <laughs> probably not. Oh, uh, we thought about getting some Thai food. It oh, yeah. Good. Ooh, Thai food sounds great. You know the the Thai food place uh, uh, back in in town that sucks now. I want to see if it yeah. doesn't. Oh, that's a great idea. I could go in on some drunken noodles. Um, and then after that, um, uh, I do not think we need. I mean, I don't speak for the group. I don't think a whole 24 hours is good and or healthy. Um, But, and Lenny, your hand gets the biggest squeeze and it might hurt. And I'm so sorry. Um, I do probably need to um, talk to her before I go. Okay. You don't and, have to. Um, n- no, but I... When your power is based around what-ifs, 
sitting in them sucks. So um, thank you for the suggestion. Um, I don't want you to think that uh, I uh, was angry or anything like that. I uh, have been bottling it up since I first let it be um, uh, earlier. And then all this has happened so far, and it's just been a little, um, uh, you know, the, the web what? has been tangled, yes. Um, well, I'm sorry for overstepping. Um, you did not overstep. I just want, I just want my friends to be happy. Um, and whatever is, is the closest thing that you could possibly get to happy in this situation. It's what I want for you. Right now, it's less for me. It's less about happiness. It's more about. If I don't say something now, I will never have a chance to say something again, and I need to take that chance, um, and then we can figure this out. Okay. That's all. But let's please um, go to Thai food yep, place. Yep, let's get some Thai food. Um, let's good. order the entire menu. I'm okay. pretty sure calories still count in this universe, by the way. No, um, it's not about the calories so much as I want the entire menu and want to eat all of it. My God, I would. <laughs> I have a teenage metabolism love... right now, so I'm going to take advantage of it. Okay, you know, I was a fat kid. I never got the teenage metabolism. I'm so I'm so jealous of these kids. Um, though, I have to ask, uh, Kwame, didn't, wasn't this supposed to be called for Terry? You said what? Wasn't this supposed to be kind of a date? Was it? I don't know. It have to be. Oh, I just thought we wanted to get some Thai food. You're right, though. I'm not yeah. sure what the deal was. So, well, okay. Uh, it could have been a date, but now it's not. Oops. It's <laughs> definitely not. Look, if that was for the... It's normally Lenny not reading into it. Kwame did not read that. He just said, just get some food. <laughs> I don't think Lenny put that out there that that's what this was supposed to be. No, okay, because... I'm just saying, as Steven, I wasn't sure if it was a date or not. So that's on uh, Steven, okay? No, like, I didn't, I, I didn't you know what that happens when you assume? You make an ass out of you and me. And <laughs> All right, Lenny, what's the name of this place? Uh... The only Thai food spot in town. Are you serious? <laughs> I don't know. I asked. They, te I asked. they tend to have yes, very, and. very ethnic names, and I don't feel comfortable inventing ethnic names. So you're at the only Thai food... What was it? The only Thai place in town? Yeah. So you're at the only Thai place in town. Uh, family owned. It's run owned. by hipsters. No, it's run by it's hipsters. Not... Hip, a family of hipsters. Uh, they had babies, ironically. Um, nice enough. It's a nice place on the inside. Counterpoint. We are in the middle of a very, very white area. This Thai restaurant is called Chinese restaurant. Oh that's how that usually is. Because they wouldn't... Because... Cause that's how, cause as you know, Stephen, you grew up in these same areas that I did. Yes, I did. Ah, oh. okay. All right. Oh. All right. All right. All right. All right. Our, I think it should be Asian cuisine. Every restaurant was called China delights, at least in the town. They were owned by different people and they spelled the light differently, but that was the name. And that is the truth. Oh, Jesus. I mean, you're not wrong. You're very NorCal, much not wrong. <laughs> I don't want to go back to NorCal. Um, okay, so... Probably has at... dragon or something in the title. <laughs> now, that's, now that's where the ethnic rudeness comes from. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. For the sake of not getting canceled... Thank you. Uh, <laughs> the only Thai place in town. That's what it's called. But everyone calls it a Chinese restaurant because that's what they do. That is completely fair. We I don't mean, need to, but that's what they do. Yes. It, it so you're, at the only Thai you're at the only Thai food place in town. 
Uh, there is an older couple <laughs> arguing with the hostess at the front about what? No, of course it's a. You have China. You got. You have uh, General So's chicken here. It's Chinese oh. food, and they're like, "It's it's not Chinese food." They're like, "No, it's on Yelp." And so, oh my god, are we about to deal with the Karen? We are not Please. about to deal with the Karen because he does not have the spoons for that. Please, <laughs> like Kwame, I have always, I I have a need in real life to encounter my first true Karen. I've encountered many, but in the age of the Karens, I have not encountered a Karen, and I'm waiting for it. So I continue. Why are you... You haven't dealt with one. That's a good thing. That's a win. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Ay. Mm-mm. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Itching for a fight. Um, yep. As black, the black, old black couple is shoot away, the four of you are brought to a booth and sat down, handed menus and glasses of water. And Lenny, the menu is the good menu. It looks a lot better here. Sick. And uh, Mandy's back with uh, their background. Yay. Boop, boop. Um, My light bulbs got delivered. Hooray. Yay. <laughs> Uh, for people who missed it in the pre-show, I was talking about how I'd accidentally knocked over my light and shattered all the light bulbs and had to get some light bulbs delivered very speedily, and they just now arrived. So you get the full experience now. Hi. Thank all you right. for being patient while I dealt with some tech stuff. Hmm. Uh, Kawame is going to get uh, some papaya salad um, and some grilled fish with coriander chili sauce. Ooh, tasty. Yeah. Uh Manny is going to get some shrimp wontons, like the fried shrimp wontons, um, and some uh, pad ki mao or drunken noodles. Uh, and then probably to go, they'll get some green curry to go. Okay. Now I'm With hungry. Sticky rice. Listen, it's dinner time. Or getting close to being dinner time. Literally so. eating my burger. <laughs> I have some some slit pea soup in the fridge waiting to get warmed up. I'm trying to think like like the only thing like Ooh, I mean, me I would get I would get pad thai because that's what I always get um, because that's how basic I am. Hey, uh, pad thai is good. It's good. It's you know ain't fixed. Don't bro- if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, I've never had a a bad plate of pad thai. Uh, I don't know what Lenny would get. I assume like pad thai, but with tofu instead of beef but maybe he would have beef because it's kind of like because there's carbohydrate i don't know i thought pad, but he's also I've never had pad thai. Go noodles, quite a right bit. Hmm? i've never had pad thai it's noodles right yeah yes. it's just rice noodles with uh your choice of protein and like eggs and peanuts and like uh the baby shrimp like and you know a sauce it's delicious so would it be so you like- knowing lenny wouldn't it be uh pad thai made with zucchini noodles and tofu Probably, yeah. If but got. they that would be sacrilege. Uh, rice yeah. are actually very. But good also, for you. like, yeah. so. he, he's aware of cheat days, so he would get he would get that. He's aware yeah. of them, but does he participate in that? That's well, the question. Well, That's since true. he's since he's let himself go so completely, he figures oh he can have God. it. Yeah, maybe we can get a couple of those Thai sausages that they have in the appetizer section. That always looks so delicious. And he's gonna get. He's gonna get a Thai iced tea. God damn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You order your smorgasbord of food. Um, it comes out and it is so good. It's good in a way that can only be described as wow, this is our only option, so we have to like it. It is the only Thai place in town, after all. It's not bad though. It's on the west coast, so it's pretty okay. Oh yeah, no. Um and hey, the family might be, it might be owned by hipsters, but they're, uh, you know, they're from Thailand. They're Thailand hipsters. Lenny's just stuffing his face. He's like, the great thing about it is like, it's like, um, it's every flavor. And that's why it's so delicious. It's a little bit salty. It's a little bit sour. It's a little bit sweet. It's a little bit ah, spicy. That's a bone. Shit. Be careful. Please don't choke on bones. I choke. Mm, never mind. Anansi holds up the scorecard. <laughs> just, just, okay. Bye, everyone. Stream over. 
just Manny's little innocent head tilt, like what? <laughs> we just go back to eating uh, the papaya salad. Good soup. Um, have any of you checked your phone today? Um, probably a couple of times. Uh, yeah. at least while you know Lenny and Kwame were having a little chat. Uh, and then you know maybe on the way here. Yeah, while 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 time. Lenny was knocked out, I mean he's like you know. Hold him. He's like, we're good. Okay, maybe he'll be back. <laughs> uh, yeah, then that, yeah, on the way here, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, since he ran into his four friends that he knows are not fictional, he hasn't ha- felt the need to look at his phone. All right, Manny, uh, you have been contacted by Nanako today. Um, you did tell her earlier about what was going on, and she, in a moment of Shocking calmness, just kind of, all right, work. I get it. I believe you. Um, she has contacted you uh, throughout the day, off and on. Not Every text message kind of with that implication of you don't have to respond to this. Just like, hey, when you get a second, let me know how things are. I hope things are working out well. Uh, keep. I'm uh, covering for y'all in uh, science today. Um, Pretty, you just kind yeah. of Manny, being a good friend. Yeah, Manny texts her back at this point and goes, "We're having dinner right now, but I think in an hour or two we're gonna go bust uh, Loki and Morpheus out of the dreaming. You want to come with?" You get a bunch of question marks, and then a, uh, "Well, I mean, sure." Oh, has Nanako never been in the dreaming? Oh, maybe not. Have you ever been to the dreaming? Uh, Manny will text back. No. Oh, well then you're in for a treat. Okay. Should I be worried? Yes. Uh, probably. <laughs> the dreaming is a bit whack. All right. Thank you for your honesty. I will see see you all in an hour. Enjoy your Thai food. Uh, if you could bring me back a yellow curry, I'd really appreciate it. I'll pay you back. Nah. Don't worry about it. I'll grab it for you. It's Thank on you. Order. Being awesome. Not an not an hour. When? I'm gonna go see mom first, then after. Oh right, right. Uh, mm. three hours. Three hours. Oh, okay. Two, two Even hours. better. <laughs> Manny two. says three. Anyways, <laughs> giving ourselves that in, extra hour just in a case. set period of time that takes longer than an hour, but less than four. We'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> Manny, Manny is padding that time. Uh, while 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 Lenny's eating pad Thai. Okay, I'm done. Ha. ha. Oh! ha, ha. Now we have to end the stream. I'm so sorry, you all, but I took an incredible amount of psychic damage <laughs> and I'm now emotional no damage. Emotional damage. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the same guy who played Uncle Roger in those shorts? No. Okay. No. Sure. No. I don't know. I haven't seen who did it. I just thought. Okay, valid. Kind of like, if you haven't seen it, good. If you have seen it, give me an. If R. I have seen it, then I probably a. feel really bad right <laughs> yeah. now. And it looks like an asshole. <laughs> I haven't seen it. I've just heard the audio, and it sounded a lot like when uh, Uncle Roger goes, "Yeah, yeah, World War Two yeah, is yeah. over." All right. Uh, yeah, Manny like shoots off of that last text, giving giving Nana, telling Nanako that we'll meet in like two or three hours, and then kind of turns to Kwame and Lenny and and Dalia and goes, um, "I invited Nanako. She's gonna come and and do this with us as well." Cool. Okay. Uh, Lenny, uh, you have some text messages from an unknown number. Oh, I look at them. Uh, the uh, there is no punctuation. It's all just run-on sentences, all lowercase, lots of shorthand. Um, eventually, though, throughout the myriad of text messages, you get a photo, and it is Kim. Uh, she is drenched, sitting by the side of the ocean, uh, giving the camera the finger. <clears throat> oh. I'm just going to be- the barrier, goes out pretty far. Forgot how flying worked for a moment. FML. 
Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna text back. Um, forgot you were doing that. Hope it went well. I astral project spelled wrong. Uh, uh, met Loki, spelled low key. Uh, he's in a dream. We're gonna bust him out or something in like three hours. Do you know that Thai food place is good now? Holy shit, it is? Bring me a pad thai. <laughs> okay. Also, okay. Fuck you, also, fuck you for forgetting what I was doing, you assholes. Love you all. We have a lot on our plate. Tell her we have a lot on our plate. She yeah, does, but love you all. A lot of responsibility so. for teenagers, you know. Listen, also... We have to order a yellow curry and a pad thai to go, aside from my green curry, which is also Done. to go. Uh, I'm going to get some mango sticky rice. Menu. Yeah. Oh, oh, I want two of those. Two of those. Yes. One. I mean, does I it really never... matter how much he eats? Yes. I'll okay. make my own. See if I care. Back when, like, you know, we were in the real world. I didn't let you pay for anything. So, like, I'm not going to... Just because we're in a weird made-up world doesn't mean I'm going to start being cheap or whatever. You this money is even less real. You do not have to pay everything just because you have white privilege. Well, what am I going to do with it? When you put it that way. Reparations! Hey! Reparations! Ah! Yeah! No, Let's he doesn't have to pay reparations right. to me. No, he doesn't. No, I mean, but I did watch a really interesting video about how, like, basically the housing market is like uh, has been so unfair for and and housing is all of uh, how someone determines wealth in a family, and uh, you know, so it's like it's not outside love, like it's not a wildly weird idea to start paying people who have not been able to buy a house since 1969. Listen, gerrymandering has been a thing for quite some time. And then it goes even deeper than that. You go into public domain and, and, and all this other stuff. And just, yeah, it's no, it's yeah, you know what? Fine. I'm not going to fight it. You can pay for it with your black card as, as much as you want. So that means two make right? Yes, you can have two. Fuck yeah. He's a very happy spider right now. I like how Anansi's like basically Kwame's child, even though he's like ancient. <laughs> he's just... He showed up earlier in this episode with a gun. <laughs> it's, like that, awesome. it's like that moment a knife. in that like, Yes. <laughs> it's that video. That's Anansi. He's as the knife. That energy. My God. Okay. So where do we want to where do we want to fall asleep? Do you want to do what we usually do and have a sleepover at mine? What time is it? It's Late? like maybe four in the afternoon at this point. We had an early dinner. Um. Oh. Well, if you all you just um, get lunch, want to um, um, go somewhere? I, I don't know what you want to do. Uh, I'm just going to uh, head back home really quickly. Um, yeah, I think I think we'll just meet up. Manny's place because like that's like central it's on the campus and like uh we know everyone that'll be there yes true I think I have a meeting I have to go to uh Pep Manny squad. you're actually late to that but uh, I'm just gonna pretend I'm not late to that <laughs> I'm just going oh. to um uh it's put put the put these put the put the put the put the utensils down and on see for two seconds oh move move mm. move the move the um mm. move manny's meeting back by an hour it's just Are an you? hour i i understand it's just an hour i'm just saying infinite cosmic power and uh, this this is what i'm doing rescheduling high school meeting it's, it's 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 fine it's fine uh kwame go ahead and spend the ap point yep 
Thanks, Kwame. I guess that means I should hurry up and eat this. No, delicious. you have an hour. I do. I have an extra hour now. Yep. I will say, uh, Anansi shouts, Shia Kazing! Because Spongebob. Just like places utensils back in, in, in spider hands. Thank you. <laughs> he gets back to eating. <laughs> Um, yes, we can meet back at Manny's after your meeting, after my meeting. I don't know what you want to do, Lenny. Um, you mentioned not wanting to necessarily go back. You are, um, Am I? welcome, but. Um, I mean, if somebody needs me to like go with them, um, I, I'm fine with that. But like, I could also like, I don't know, like. Go back to the library and see if, like, there's anything that's, like, going to throw this off. Like, if anything's changed about, like, just, like, go over the key things that, like, I know are supposed to happen and, like, see if that's different now. I'll go with you. Would you have a meeting? I'll go with you, Lenny. Oh, okay. No, I'll go to my meeting. You went through all the trouble. I'll go to my meeting. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's in an hour, so you have like 30 minutes to not be at the meeting, and then you have a meeting. Yeah. But the thing is, it. I want you to understand that uh, even though Lenny and I obviously have um, vast changes to us, you still were taken out of your element as well. So if you want to experience your element, you are more than... We're allowed to, not by our permission, just because you can. And you are good at revealing the truth and understanding that better than anyone. So if you don't want to go to your meeting, you do not have to. But I figured you, of all people, would want to experience what this truth is. Um, I mean, you make a very good point, I guess. I guess I've just sort of been trying to forget that that meeting is going to happen all day. So, yeah. I'm just a little bit nervous. Well, I can understand, like, why you're nervous. But I'll tell you that, like, this, whatever this meeting is or whatever happens in it is not like a reflection on who you are or who you're, like, supposed to be. It's who the devil thinks you want to be. Right. Right. You're right. When did he get so wise? Do you do you do you know when this happened, Kwame? Because I'm not entirely sure I knew what, when this happened. I think he's always been wise. It's just underneath a layer of muscle that's still there. It's really Barely. really nice. Uh, anyways. Okay, cool. Well, I'll come to the library with you first, Lenny, for a little bit, and then I'll go to my, I'll go to my meeting. I would say, Lenny, if Lenny, I know he doesn't do it without consent, but if he happened to have been listening to any radios of the mind, he would have heard very distinctly. Does he know what muscle worship is, and would he like to experience it? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> this, kills, this, kills me. this kills the GM. Oh, my oh God. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Got yeah, real gay in here, folks. I don't know if you know gay! this. But gay. I got, I got real, real Look gay in gay. here. <laughs> um, there's the other one. Fantastic. Uh, for our podcasters, <laughs> podcast listeners, that was two gay men uh, with folding fans that they just thwarped. Yeah, they've heard the sound before. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh. Um, all right. So after you guys finish your early dinner, um, Manny and Lenny, you're heading back to the school campus, and Kwame, you're heading back to the Akinyemi house, right? Yeah. Cool. You got this, Kwame. You, even if you don't, we still love you. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Lenny and Manny, as you enter the school grounds, you hear the familiar dulcet tones of 
bum 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 as we have two more toasts and real quick if we get one more toast before we wrap up in like 10 minutes we'll uh get re-rolls for the next game so throwing that out there please good afternoon student, students of north point academy uh we got some more announcements we really should uh, group these up uh I was planning to head home early, but I guess I gotta stay here. Uh, the first one is from Adventure Satoni. Uh, they say, uh, hey, all you cool cucumbers, the flavor lab is here. At lunchtime, head over for bold flavor combinations like kale California rolls, uh, Kenya Shinton salad, Ava Colorado toast. Uh, uh, choose fla- a flavor and shake it uh, on your meal. Get your flavor on. These puns, my gosh. Uh, the next one's from Mel Pomino. It says, students, thank you for your valiant effort and campaign throughout the last semester. We are pleased to welcome North Point Academy's new mascot for the baseball team, introducing Buckaroo Bug, the web slinger, the only cowboy themed arachnid in the West Coast. Uh, not to be confused with the, the one from uh, New Jersey. That's a completely different, and this is a wholly original idea. That's all the announcements. Uh, see you all soon. Kwame, you don't know why, but Anansi has a little cowboy hat on and looks very proud of himself. I, I see the hat and I don't even ask. It's best not to. Like we just came from a Thai restaurant and all of a sudden he has a cowboy hat on. I don't want to know why. No, <laughs> you probably don't. <sighs> uh, Manny and Lenny, the two of you enter the library. It is vast and beautiful. Um, like most libraries at big schools are. I love this place. Yeah. I guess, you know, it's it's all right. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, it's just books and stuff, right? Well, it's also the architecture. Oh. Yeah. And last mm-hmm. time you guys were here, you got your ass. Uh, Kwame got his ass kicked. That happened. Yeah. I didn't love that part. Yeah. But yeah. What are, exactly are we looking for again, Lenny? Uh, I just want to, like, hit up a couple of the like books that I read before and just make sure like, I don't know. It's not like different, like not like, like dreams are black and white and you could only have them when you're upside down now, or I don't know. While you're looking at those books, I think I'm going to go find the section with all the yearbooks and go through those. All right. Um, I would like for both of you to give me an intelligence roll. Yes. My strength. Super good at intelligence. Two. Well, six. Oh, I crit. Manny, Manny, uh, Emancipation Brown becomes Encyclopedia Brown for a moment as they find literally every yearbook they are looking for. And like, they know where they're going. It's a quick shot. Lenny, um, you find the novel adaptation of What Dreams May Come. Oh, finally. Yes. Yes. The 1998 uh, romantic fantasy starring Robin Williams uh, tug at will tug at your heartstrings, and this novel will do so as well, along with giving Cuba Gooding Jr.'s character more backstory. Uh, but it's not what you were looking for. It and Lenny just holds it up uh, to like Manny, who's doing very important things. It's nice because, like, um, in the movie that you find out he was, like, his, like, his mentor, but then, like, he's younger now in heaven, and that's why he's Cuba Gooding Jr. and younger than Robin Williams, but you don't really find that out till the end. Oh, uh, cool. I've never seen the movie before. Yeah, he's a painter, but he has to go to hell because his wife's in hell. That's, a, what? Yeah, because they, cause they love each other so much. That seems... Okay, cool. Why is she in hell? Uh, she killed herself because because she was sad he died. Um. 
wow, there's a lot of religious there's crap a lot to unpack, to unpack there. there. Um, yeah. Oy vey. Oy vey. I Oy remember vey. a lot about this movie, even though I saw it once when I was like 14. That's an interesting time to have seen a movie like this. <laughs> I, 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 I remember seeing it when I was like 9 or 10, and I just did not fucking understand it because it was like, Robin Williams, he's supposed to be funny. Why isn't this funny? Um, I'm not a good movie. No, it sucks. Well, but yes. right, that's obviously not what you're trying to find. So no. let's see. Let's see if I can help you find what you're actually looking for. Uh, before you do that, Manny, what are you looking for in particular? Um, I want all of the yearbooks basically from like the last 10 or so years. Mm -hmm. I want to go through them and see if there's anybody. Um, I know in the first few, like in the, in the most more recent years, it'll be easier for me to tell like people I, I've actually seen before because we'll have all been in the same class but i would imagine that as a member of the pep squad um manny probably went through these a, a lot to see like old past pep squads and their like their outfits and like that kind of stuff they would have gone through um, and kind of checked out like the the pep squads of of the past so i think that looking for inconsistencies in the yearbooks that kind of thing all right um you find some very useful information that we'll dive into soon but we're going to cut over to the akinyemi house kwame you have you have a key to your own house and, i do um you stand at the door what do you do i stand at the door for a long time uh and i say oh okay um yep uh okay 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 He doesn't move for a little bit. Are you going to uh, go inside or are we just going to stand here? And you haven't commented on my cowboy hat and honestly, I'm a little offended. Go away. I can't. I'm literally part of you. I will take out the keys and I will put it in the lock. I will turn the lock. I will wait. I will open the door. Um, inside, uh, you hear very familiar music. Um, what was your mom's favorite album? Oh, Jesus. This is going into... Uh, oh, no. Um... Pulling from real life for a second, which is strange. ABBA. Like, an, I, like a top hits from ABBA. Specifically, Fernando is playing right now. All right. You enter the home to the dulcet tones of uh, Swedish Europop. Fernando. Fernando. Um, I will kind of like stand in the hallway for a bit. Um, before slowly walking towards the sound of that music. It's coming from the kitchen um, where you saw your mom earlier today, this morning, actually, uh, as she came back from a jog. Uh, she's currently um, dancing to the music and the sunlight and it's uh it really hits you this is going to be really really fucking hard and that's where we're going to call this episode because we i am going to give that moment as much time as it needs <laughs> sadly we didn't hit our five toasts for the re-rolls i'm sorry hey, we still can we still can and we before we do outros okay okay before the outros are over, if we can do one more, if I can get uh, Eric to put the fake cigarette in and say the thing, we'll have five re-rolls available for the next session. Yeah, we're going to um, need it. So. Uh, Please, y'all, we going into the dream. It's going to be, it's going to be wild. It's going to be one weird ass trip. But anyway. My name is Stephen Pope. You can find me on TikTok at The Professional Hobbit. I sometimes talk about Dungeons & Dragons. I sometimes talk about make 
uh, how's it going making my own game. And uh, mostly I just shit post. Uh, you can find some of my games on the Storyteller's Vault. Uh, Lost Entitlements Volume 1 and Volume 2 are available. Volume 3 coming sometime this year, hopefully. Uh, also check out Queers, the role-playing game by Sun of Oak Studios. I'm lead writer, and that is coming along. Uh, I would be on Twitter and other places, but I find that it's not good for my mental health, and I got banned for arguing with the turf, so not really high on my priority list to go back to. Uh, now, Manny, I'm sorry, Aki, where can they find you? Everybody can find me on Twitter at Mixgenie in a Bottle. That's M-X-G-I-N-I-I-N-A-B-O-T-T-L-E, and my entire streaming schedule can be found on my personal Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Aki. That's S-H-I-D-A-R-E-A-K-I. Uh, you can catch me on Mondays in the afternoon over on YouTube at the Cookout TTRPG playing uh, Mage the Ascension. Um, that's a lot of fun. And then you can catch me in this. And I think right now that's all I'm doing. But hopefully y'all have some fun stuff to announce soon. By the way, we got our fifth uh, toast. So. It happened. Thank you, Bondo. Hell yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, we'll read that in a moment. Uh, Omega Jones, where can they find you? Yo, yeah. Again, you can find me everywhere at Critical Bar. Critical Bar across all social media channels. I'm a Twitch partner, and I stream almost every day. Uh, playing Dead by Daylight and other games in between. Uh, catch me there. I might be streaming tonight because I'm feeling like hatcheting people, which is fine. You know what happens. Um, where else can you catch me? Today is Sunday. Tomorrow, Today you can catch Sunday. me on... Uh, youtube.com slash realmsmith for Tides of Wildmount episode 5 uh, we are about to fight some werewolves which is great um, you can catch me on um, um, this coming Friday for the third installment uh, with my third uh, watch party of the Legends of Vox Machina uh, I'm going to be watching episodes 7 through 9 on my space i am I'm sponsored by a phenology pv amazon and critical role to do that so definitely check that out uh and there's something else uh i can't think of it but two major things one aki and i were on let's get wild mount on my channel uh we have decided to let that story go to rest um and we're going to actually be starting a new story in tell dory uh, we will be oh, announcing yeah. more information coming soon um, that will be on my channel uh, at some point, playing completely new characters. Um, very, very excited. Uh, starting over was the best decision for us. Uh, I'm not going to say more than that, but uh, again, keep on the lookout for you know, that information. Uh, lastly, I literally found out this morning that I am a LGBTQ Streamer of the Year nominee for the Gaming Awards, which is T-A-Y Ming Awards. Uh, you can literally, I don't know if this will work. It probably won't work. No, it probably won't. So I'm just going to put it here. Go link that. Um, um, you can go to the uh, probably incoming Google Doc link to vote for me. Uh, I am very honored to be a, a nominee, not just as a black queer individual, but also as someone who has been very upfront and uh, open about my own demi gender journey. Um, just, you know, being mask presenting and non binary is fucking valid. <laughs> and a lot of people don't like that, like it is. So I'm just excited to uh, be someone that people have looked up to and have considered for such an honor. Uh, so, yeah, if you can vote, go vote. That's that. That that's me. Goodbye. God damn, go vote. Um, and last but certainly not least, mostly Eric, Eric Record, uh, who also has an announcement from our beautiful school secretary. Okay. Well, first off, I'll just say, hey, everyone. I'm Eric. You can find me, mostly Eric, on all the things, uh, social media and whatnot. You can check me out uh, later tonight in about... An hour and a half, I'll be on the B and B tabletop Twitch channel playing uh, some board games. We're playing Letters from Whitechapel, which is a game where, where, you're, where you're hunting Jack, uh, Jack the Ripper in old timey London. And it's very fun. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's that's all I got going on. <laughs> uh, good evening, North Point Academy. 
I was supposed to go home an hour ago, but here we are. Uh, got a very important announcement that they kept me uh, from my stories for. Uh-oh. That announcement is uh, It's a Me Bondo. Would like to announce Waterloo. So that's 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 what they said. Gladys, you guys stay late for. <laughs> that's what they said. You know? That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Oh, oh God! Gladys doesn't get paid enough for this. <laughs> does not. She does not. Oh God! Thank. Special thanks to Dom Zook, who's been running everything behind the scenes. Thank you all for tuning in. Catch up with all of our shows on YouTube or as podcasts. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell. It helps. It helps us so much. Uh, you can join the exploration site on Kofi and join our Discord where we talk shop, including a thread just for this episode. And hey, we've got that Princess Bride watch along coming soon, so that's going to be very fun. Uh, we'll see you next time, and to- tune in on Tuesday for a new RPG Exploration Society. It's the finale of the Avatars Legends game, so that's going to be really cool. Tuesday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time here on Saving Throw Show. My name is Stephen Pope, and we will see you later. Later.